10 of the best South African wines. Whether it's honeyed Chenin Blancs or silky Pinot Noir, South Africa's wines are improving in leaps and bounds. South Africa http colon slash slash www.telegraph.co.uk slash food and drink slash wine slash 414271 slash South Africa's wines prepare for the World Cup in 2010. HTML has come a long way. During its isolation, most of the country's wines http colon slash slash www.telegraph.co.uk slash food and drink slash wine were tired and dreary, with the reds often testing of burnt rubber and the whites of acid drops. But since then there has been a dramatic increase in quality. South Africa is currently the world's ninth largest wine producer with more than 600 wineries and 6,000 wines. It is the fastest growing wine supplying country in Britain, with a 12.1% share of the market, hot on the heels of Italy and France, 13 and 13.1%, respectively. Much of this is driven by the big brands such as Arniston Bay and Kumala, but the top end has played its part, too, with fabulous wines to be enjoyed from the likes of Thielema, Tokara, Hamilton Russell, Virgil Legion, Minert, Iona, Ray, its family, Mirlas, Kankop, Boss Sandal, Bokenhouts, Kluve, Jordan, Morgenster, and Rustenburg. South Africa now competes in every category, with crisp Sauvignons and creamy Chardonnays, honey gin and blancs and silky pinnets. Even Pinotage, notorious as something of an acquired taste, is producing some wonderful fruit driven wines. Next year's Football World Cup will be held in South Africa and to help you start preparing your paddle here is my top 10. 1. 2009 Can Forrester Cape Breeze Channon Blank, 13% volume, South Africa, £4.98, as the Can Forrester knows his Channon Blank inside out, and his so-called FMC, Forrester Minor Channon, is a much-loved classic and highest ever scoring South African white and wine spectator. This entry-level version might sound like a shampoo or a dual ux paint, but it's a great value introduction to the grape, with crisp, sweet-edged fruit and a dry finish. An ideal crowd pleaser for parties. 2. 2009 Flagstone Noon Gun Dry White, 13.5% volume, South Africa, £4.99 reduced from £6.99 until December 1st. Tesco Bruce Jack, one of the nicest and quirkiest of also winemakers, shocked many by signing up with the world's largest wine producer, Constellation. Flagstone, housed in a former dynamite factory, is his baby, though, and he vows he'll be left to his own devices. This Chen and Blanc slash Viognier slash Sauvignon blend is a typical Jack Charmer, being light, aromatic and fruity. Delicious with grilled sea bass. 3. 2008 Burst Clouve Pinotage, 14% volume, South Africa, £5.99 if you buy 3, otherwise £8.99, Wine Rack Pinotage. A cross between Sinsault and Pinot Noir, is South Africa's USP, loved for its fruit by some, dismissed as tired and redolent of burnt rubber by others. In the hands of Burskluf Speyer's Truder, one of the grape's most vociferous supporters, it works a dream. Here, his entry-level version is ripe, juicy and full of spicy plum fruit, with no hint of rubber. Enjoy with slow roast belly of pork. 4. 2009 Stellar Organic Sira Rose, 13.5% volume, South Africa, £6.05, Asda, Budgens, Londas, Spar South Africa's strong on fair grade and Stellar was the first organic winery in the world to be so accredited. The winery gets its fruit from farms along the northern boundary of the Fence River and processes around 4,500 tons of organic grapes a year. This pink syrah is hardly complex, just delightfully fruity and off dry in the mouth, with a dryish, peppery finish. Serve it well chilled at parties, or with stuffed red peppers or roasted root vegetables. 5. 2007 Bellingham Bernard Series Old Vine Shannon Blank, 14.5% volume, South Africa, 
8 pounds and 99 pence, majestic chat in blank is better in South Africa than anywhere else outside the War Valley, and this from Bellingham's Bernard series, formerly the Maverick Range, is a first rate example of real style. Made from 40 year old, high altitude bush vines, it has wonderfully concentrated rich, ripe fruit with hints of peach, apricot and cream. A touch full flavored for an aperitif, it works really well with fish pie or creamy mushroom pasta. 6. 2007 Paul Kluver Weiser Riesling Noble Late Harvest, 12% volume, South Africa, 11 pounds and 49 pence per 37.5 centiliters, selected Waitrose stores and www.waitroseswine.com http colon slash slash www.waitroseswine.com and Driesberger of Paul Kluver Estate makes smashing wines and I've long been a fan of the estate's Pinot Noir and their classy Jurors Terminer. This is a corker too, a late pick, bought retized. Cool climate Riesling, packed with concentrated honeyed apple, peach flavors and a zingy acidity. It's great with desserts such as tartan, but even better with gooey blue cheese. 7. 2005 Iona the Gunner, 14% volume, South Africa, 11 pounds and 95 pence, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Really fine wine CO01316697716. Swig Wines 08000272272, Hick Wines 01977550047 Iona is celebrated for its Chardonnays and Sauvignons and is a fine Syrah, too, and a brand new Noble Late Harvest Sauvignon, which is gorgeous. This blended red, from Cabernet, Merlot and Petit Verdot, is a belter as well. Inimitably so of course. It also has a touch of left bank Bordeaux style and is smooth and rounded with luscious ripe fruit. Enjoy with roast loin of the venison. 8. Graham Beck Brut NV, 13% volume, South Africa, 13 pounds and 99 pence, Telegraph Wine from Waitrose HTTP colon slash slash wine dot telegraph dot co dot uk slash Graham Beck Chardonnay Pinot Brut? Um underscore source equals TMG and um underscore medium equals referral and um underscore campaign equals article links and um underscore content equals article underscore 6539748 greater than Whole Foods 02073684500 DJ Food Fair 02087485974 I've always enjoyed Graham Beck Sparklers. Made in the Champagne Method under the supervision of the legendary Peter Bubbles Ferreira. This 50-50 blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir from the Robertson region is about as good as it gets for a non-champagne fizz, being crisp and clean, but toasty and brioche-like too. A cracking aperitif. 9. 2001 Margenhof Cape Lay Bottle Vintage, 17.5% volume. South Africa, 16 pounds and 99 pence. Cellar Dort Wines 01727854488. Right Wine Colorado 01756700886. This is scrumptious stuff. The Cape's answer to the Drill Valley. Made from 100% Tinta Barocca, Bonaparte S. Major Grapes, and aged for four years in French oak. It has raisins, licorice and ripe damsons on the palate and a rich, succulent finish. Enjoy as you would any LBV port, with cheese, chocolate puddings or a hearty Cuban cigar. 10. 2007 Hamilton Russell Pinot Noir, 13% volume, South Africa, 24 pounds and 99 pence, Wine Society, Harvey Nichols The Hamel and Ard Valley, near Hermanus, is home to some fascinating wines. Although nobody agrees on exactly where the Prime Valley starts and ends, it's fair to say that Hamilton Russell put the region on the map with its Bernets and Chardonnays. Known as the most Burgundian of Cisbernets, this is as elegant and silky as they come, with a touch of vegetal spice and dark berry fruit. Perfect with chicken and truffle risotto.